Hello beautiful and magnificent beings. Thank you for joining me for the first video in a new series. I would like to begin with a little ASMR. And I am going to make you a nice relaxing cup of herbal tea that I bought especially for you. It's chamomile and I do hope you like it. Chamomile is known for its relaxing and calming effects. It is rich in antioxidants and may reduce cancer and heart disease. It also helps promote sleep and aids in digestion and offers many other health benefits. I'm so excited to use this mortar and pestle for the first time. It was a gift from my aunt for Christmas, and even though you can't tell in the video, it's a beautiful, deep, lush, green marble. also have this special Chinese tea mug for you that comes with a lid and its own strainer.
excuse me for one moment, I'm just going to go pour some hot water in here. at the perfect temperature so you won't burn yourself and I sweetened it with honey please enjoy it occasion for our greatest health and benefit I would like to call in my guides my Reiki guides and the energy and compassion of Guan Yin. Find yourself in a comfortable position so you may better enjoy the experience. Please take a few breaths and allow yourself to be ensconced in this sacred and cherished energy. Allow it to slowly transform you. Allow it to calm and relax you. Forgetting the day's worries. Forgetting the day's troubles. As we begin to settle down, let us focus on compassion. The so Bodhisattva that represents compassion, as you know, is Kuan Yin. And her name means the one who hears the cries of the world. She is all loving and the perfect embodiment of beauty, grace, and enduring compassion. Kuan Yin's appeal is that she responds to the heartfelt needs of ordinary people. She is accessible to anyone regardless of social status and will come to the emotional rescue of anyone who calls upon her in their time of crisis. Can you imagine how different the world would be if we practiced even the smallest amount of compassion daily? I would like to share a few of the ways that I practice compassion and maybe it will inspire you or it can be some helpful information that you can use. I think it's wise that we start practicing self-compassion first because most of us have such a very harsh inner critic constantly judging or putting us down. And as long as we beat ourselves up it's very difficult to be compassionate towards others. Another simple practice is to put yourself in someone else's shoes. Be kind because everyone you meet is fighting their own battle that you know nothing about, as are we. Practicing kindness without people pleasing. The Dalai Lama says, my religion is very simple. My religion is kindness. But many people make mistakes of people pleasing. Approval seeking with kindness. Kindness doesn't mean selling out what's true for you in order to make someone else feel good. Authentic kindness stems from a place of wholeness within.
We could also try to relax our judgment. There really is no good or bad, right or wrong. This is just dualistic judgments that we have been programmed with. What if instead we could just trust that life is hard and everyone is doing the best they can? Releasing judgment of others starts with letting go of self-judgments. Practice presence. Try to be fully present with everyone you encounter. Avoid looking at your cell phone, multitasking, glancing at your TV, or at a lunch date, or paying attention to anyone that's not with you. Make eye contact. Notice the body language. See if you really feel what the other might be thinking beneath the words. When you're truly present, your presence has a tendency to be experienced as compassion, and I really enjoy that one. And the last one I'd like to leave you with is listen generously. The practice of generous listening as a gateway to compassion and a tool is very healing. Most of us don't always listen. We're interrupting or judging what someone's saying or trying to fix. Listening creates a holy silence. When you listen generously to people, they can hear truth in themselves, often for the first time. And in the silence of listening, you can know yourself and everyone. Eventually, you may be able to hear in everyone and beyond everyone, the unseen singing softly to itself and to you. Thank you so much everyone for taking the time to show up and being a part of this energy exchange. I hope you were able to enjoy the benefits of this healing session. And until next time, may your hearts be light and full of joy and may your being be uplifted and filled with compassion. Satnam. <laughs>